Hello, I'm Carrie. I cosplay crochet and enjoy history bounding. And if you've seen a few of my videos, you know that most of my materials for my creations come from thrift stores. But there's so much more than just the yarn and material section in the thrift stores to look at. Here are the places that I go through when I'm hunting for materials for a project and some of the ways that I have used those thrifted materials. The fabric or material section is a treasure trove. You never know what you may find. Oh look, someone was making a quilt. I bought one of these. I used it to make Raggedy Ann's dress. Downside here is that you don't have any tags to tell you what the fabric content might be, so you're guessing, and you can only get whatever material they have. You can't say, oh, I need five yards of this and measure it out. It's whatever they have is whatever you can buy. Curtains! They're long, they're reasonably wide, and oftentimes you can find multiple curtains of the same material, which is great if you're worried about, oh, I need a lot of fabric for this project. Bottom of them are hemmed. So depending upon what you're doing, hey, there's already a hem in place. This can be a great place to look for a lot of lace. Bedding. This is definitely where I get most of my materials for sewing. Most of them will have tags on them telling you the fabric content. And let me assure you, a queen or king size flat sheet, you can make a lot out of that. I periodically just buy white cotton sheets because I know I'm going to make petticoats or shifts or aprons. You can also find some really fun fabric. Pillowcases. Yes, they're small, but if you only need a little bit of material for a small project, they're really good for that. And yes, I have used pillowcases before. The bloomers for Sarah Sanderson, they were from a pillowcase. Blankets. If you are looking for inexpensive wool, this is where you want to look. But also anything for fake fur or for a coat or heavier material, it's really good. The coat for Cruella de Vil was a blanket with a faux fur stole attached to it for the collar. Tablecloths, really great for skirts. I have made a number of skirts out of tablecloths. You can find some interesting designs in the tablecloth section. Placemats are another, I think, underappreciated source of fabric. Depending upon what you're trying to do, that slightly thicker, heavier material, really good for making bonnets. Some thrift stores also have bags of material things that are too small to hang on their own to sell individually, but are still large enough for a project or two. I certainly bought a bag of this when looking for cotton to make masks. If you're looking for cheap material to do a mock-up, another bagged item that some thrift stores have are sheets. They're not in great condition. They package them more as drop sheets, 
for people who are painting, but again, it's cheap material that you can use to find out, does this pattern fit? What adaptations do I need to make? Scarves, they're more than just a fashion accessory. They can also be material for crafting. Yes, thrift stores do also have wigs. Bandanas. Again, it's a nice clean piece of material. One of the first cosplays I created, Pippi Longstockings, that skirt is a bunch of handkerchiefs stitched together. Belts are a good source for leather, but you can also find interesting metal belts that are really handy for steampunk looks. Or you can take them apart if you find the right belt and make arm bracers out of them. Remember Bodica? Bags and bags of beautiful yarn. And if you notice, a lot of these are brand new skeins. And a lot of the same skeins. So yes, you can completely make a good sized project out of yarn from a thrift store. Sewing supplies and accessories. A lot of my random thread. I just buy some of those bags of thread. They're handy to have. And yes, sewing patterns. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos about cosplay, crochet, and history bounding, be sure to subscribe. Until next time, have fun and be creative.